Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is CryptoNobes and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at why the crypto market has crashed. We're also going to be taking a look at the latest big news to do with Cardano and hopefully in this video we will be reassuring you that everything is part of the process. So if you guys like anything I bring to you, don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button or share the video for more as it really helps my channel grow. Let's even get this video over 400 likes and I also want to know down below, are you taking advantage of these dips? With that, let's jump straight into the video. So ladies and gentlemen, if we take a quick look at the crypto market, as you can see, Bitcoin has been hit pretty hard. Altcoins have taken a similar fate we are seeing anywhere between 10 to 15 to 20 percent or higher in a downfall but overall is this something we should be panicking about is the bull run for 2021 over or is this just a small bump in the road we're going to take a quick look at exactly why we did take a big drop but if i show you on this ruler here quickly as you can see bitcoin's drop we did end up falling to below forty-six thousand dollars, but then we have shown strength so overall is this just a small bump in the road? And we're going to take a look at exactly why this happened. As you can see here, this was tweeted by The Guardian. Elon Musk says Tesla will no longer accept Bitcoin due to fossil fuel use. The digital currency, which is made with an energy intensive process, falls more than 7% after this tweet. Tesla has suspended the use of Bitcoin to purchase its vehicles, Elon Musk said in a tweet on Wednesday, citing concerns about the use of fossil fuel for Bitcoin mining. Bitcoin, the world's largest digital currency, Currency fell more than 7% after the tweet and was trading at $52,000. We did see it fall to $46,000. Musk said Tesla would not sell any Bitcoin and intends to use Bitcoin for transactions as soon as mining transitions to more sustainable energy. We are also looking at other cryptocurrencies that use less than 1% of Bitcoin's energy, Musk said. And if I show you his Twitter here, as you can see, Elon Musk tweeted exactly that, and it had over 260,000 likes, Tesla and Bitcoin. As you can see here, Crypto Island, he replied saying the energy consumption of the Cardano network is 6 GWH. The expected energy consumption of Bitcoin by the end of 2021 is 130 TWH, over 21,000 times more. Cardano fixes this problem. So now I'm hopefully going to be giving you guys some reassurance, showing you that this is all part of the process, why you should not panic, and why this is just a small bump in the road. This is from Altcoin Daily, and this is a picture of the last cycle. As you can see in the last cycle, Bitcoin ended up having one, two, three, four, five, six, six corrections of 30% or higher. And then we all knew how that turned out. Bitcoin topped at higher than $21,000. So again, that is something to bear in mind. So if we take a look at Bitcoin chart today, as you can see, it is a completely different story, but still very, very similar. As you can see here, we have these green highlighted circles, and all these are is trying to show you guys that these sort of 15 to 20% corrections are completely normal in cryptocurrency, and this is not the first time it's happened. As you can see here, this is a representation of 15% or higher. We have had one, two three four five six seven eight nine we've had nine already in the space of 12 months correct me if i'm wrong but the correction that started last month was because of the biden and tax news and the one that started before that was because of india banning crypto for the hundredth time so overall we normally start to see a big piece of news that starts these big drops but for me these are the best possible times to buy because as we've seen time and time again throughout cryptocurrency history we always seem to recover so even though there is the possibility that bitcoin could fall below forty thousand dollars there is still one key key thing to point out from all of this that's happened. Elon Musk said Tesla would not sell any Bitcoin. So the only people that are selling Bitcoin at the moment are the panic sellers. So that is another thing to bear in mind. If the biggest companies, the billion dollar companies are not selling cryptocurrency at this stage, then it is simply enough the weak hands and the panic sellers that are going to be selling. So guys, I do really hope that this has helped in some way and helped with your reassurance. As I always try to push across this channel, even though I am not a financial advisor, a 
attack the dips when necessary. So guys, now we have cleared up why the crypto market has dropped and hopefully it has given you some reassurance not to panic sell. Now we're gonna take a look at what is next for Cardano. And this article says, Cardano says its next focus is a decentralized stake pool operator, SPO launch. The Cardano team is planning to launch the decentralization of the network stake pool operator, SPO, just weeks after giving the community full control of the block production. The SPO development was announced by IOHK, the blockchain research and development firm behind Cardano. The company states that SPO decentralization aims to set up reliable and effective connection between distributed nodes. IOHK notes that before decentralization of the stake pool operator, there is a need to enhance the Cardano network software. The first phase entailed activating the peer-to-peer -peer governor, deployment of the connection manager, and releasing a private peer-to-peer -peer testnet in April. Currently, the team is testing the engineering testnet before deploying a semi-public peer-to-peer testnet for a select class of SPOs. Before the decentralization process began, the SPOs have been operating relay nodes globally to generate the configuration for linking with peers. Upon achieving complete decentralization, stake pool operators will enhance efficiency to support automatic node communication without relay nodes. According to IOHK, to provide better efficiency, it is essential to enable automated node communication without reliance on an IU-run relay nodes. Thus, the networking team is now deploying the automated peer-to-peer -peer code which will allow stake pool operators to create and run a more decentralized network. Nearly a month ago Cardano announced block production had attained 100% decentralization. According to IOHK decentralization was gradual and it is the first step of creating an independent protocol free from central authorities. So overall even though Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto market is currently down we are still seeing some very nice buying opportunities. Cardano is still holding above its strong level of $1.60 cents so again going forward into the next few months of cryptocurrency i am still incredibly bullish but i want to know down below are you still incredibly bullish for the rest of this year now this is the last article that i want to show you involving cardano and then we're going to jump straight into a price analysis and this article says netherlands ireland and australia most interested in cardano amid increasing adoption and it says down here, interest in Cardano is surging as IOHK, the development team behind the cryptocurrency, works on real-world applications for the digital asset. Data from Google Trends, which analyzes the popularity of search queries in Google Search, shows that the interest in Cardano news is surging over the past few months. It started by the end of January and hit a peak of March 14th. The data also revealed that the country most interested in the sixth largest cryptocurrency by market cap is the Netherlands, followed by Ireland and Australia. And as you can see here by Google Trends, over the past few months slash years, Cardano has become very, very popular across the world, and for very good reason. On this channel, we have been talking about Cardano since we pretty much first made this channel in January 2020, and so far, it is really starting to look like a game-changer cryptocurrency. And if I show you this here, interest on Google for keyword Cardano News by country, Belgium is at the bottom with 34, then South Africa, UK, Germany, Austria, Singapore, Switzerland, Australia, Ireland, and then at the top, the Netherlands. To finish off today's video, we're now going to be taking a look at a quick little price analysis, and let's take a look at what is next for Cardano, and what is happening with its price. So as you can see here, Cardano ended up peaking at around the levels of $1.81, and since then, because of Bitcoin's big drop with Elon Musk's one tweet, we simply dropped around about 15%, or a bit lower. As you can see there, since then we have made a very nice recovery, and now we are seeing some very nice green bars. How much higher will we go? Will Bitcoin take another drop? We'll have to wait and see over the next few days. As I always stress on this channel, Bitcoin's movement is incredibly key for the rest of the crypto market. A lot of people do forget that, but when we see a big correction in Bitcoin, there will, nine times out of 10, be a similar fate with the altcoins, purely because a majority of the market is correlated to Bitcoin's movement. So now that we've seen here, here and here we have seen some drops over and over again purely because a bitcoin has made a big push we do need to have these form of pullbacks to reach the prices of our dreams if we do not see a 20 percent pullback or slightly lower then in my opinion it can be incredibly dangerous and we will see some serious repercussions as i always say on this channel i will always try to be as realistic as possible i do think we can go to very high prices of three to five dollars or maybe even higher but again we have got to have a realistic approach until we reach those points again that's why i always push that bitcoin's movement is incredibly key if i show you this here and we compare bitcoin 
to the rest of the market as you can see the only reason why we took a big drop here was simply because of the Elon Musk tweet and as you can see there it was correlated exactly the same and this is no coincidence it happens time and time again as you can see if we go the further we go back the more correlated it seems to be so a lot of people do seem to forget that and I want to make that clear. If you are looking for an entry into Cardano at the moment, now could possibly be a good opportunity, but as I always stress, I am not a financial advisor. As you can see here at the levels we are currently at at the making of this video, Cardano is still down 10%. So in my opinion, that is still a good buying opportunity. But remember, if Bitcoin does fall below $46,000, then as you can see here, we will test the levels of $1.50 again so it's just something to bear in mind but long term as i always stress with this crypto space things are just getting started remember guys as i always stress on this channel be greedy when others are fearful stay hungry and you will be a winner in this space now, ladies and gentlemen, that is absolutely everything I've got for you in today's video. If you have enjoyed anything or this video has helped you in the slightest, please smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, or share the video for more as it really helps my channel grow. And if you are looking for a one-to-one -one call with me over Discord, where we can go over your portfolio, any questions you might have to do with cryptocurrency, and we can go on your future steps. We also have the Gold Membership, which has an incredible community on Discord, where we will provide information, alerts, and other things that will help you get through this crypto space so make sure you check it out or if you are currently looking for a stake pool to join the crypto nob stake pool welcomes you with open arms we have plenty of videos on this channel explaining about our stake pool but we are going to be bringing out a website very very soon to explain our goals so if you guys did enjoy anything i brought to you this has been crypto nobs thank you for watching hopefully i'll see you in my next video peace